Hello everyone. This is Dinakar Justice Raj. I'm an electrical engineer. I welcome you all to this short video session on behalf of Life Changes Academy. This session is going to be about writing a good resume that would win you a job. The topic is writing an appealing resume. I'll teach you how. First, let us go through an overview of what you are to learn now. We'll see what a resume is, what can it give you, what are its importance, what structure should your resume have, and types of resumes. And we'll conclude with do's and don'ts in a resume. Now, what is a resume? It is a very brief summary of your entire details, including your qualifications, your experiences, your personal details, which must be attractive to the employer who reads it. The picture here shows what a resume would look like. It is just for reference. Let's move on to the next slide. Importance of a resume. A resume has a great power of getting you the job you've been dreaming. Yeah, it is possible but only when it is prepared the right way. The second thing is, the resume is not just a paper, but it is you. Yes, it is the virtual way, version of you. So it should contain contents that speak for you about your passion, and it should reflect your carry thirst that you have for the job you're applying. Now, you know how important your resume is. So let's move on to the next slide. With knowing the importance of your resume, let us see the structure of your resume. First of all, write your name at the very beginning in block letters. It may look like a heading, let it be. Then add your mail ID and your con contact details below, like it is a suffix to your name or something. Yes, not as the same size as you've written your name. The mail ID and your contact details should be uh, a bit smaller in size. Add phone and WhatsApp symbols near your contact details to specify the contact information. And you can also mention mm -hmm. the symbol for email near your mail ID. And you can add your LinkedIn ID as well if you're in LinkedIn because most of the people use LinkedIn nowadays. You can find lots of jobs out there. Then there should be a subheading named objective or career objective. Here, type 20 to 30, way, 30 words to describe you. It should be loud and attractive, that is kind of short and sweet. Make reference of objectives from the internet and write your own, I repeat, write your own objective. Because writing your own objective is very important because uh, your employers are gonna find your objective and it is copied from the internet. Okay, then, then you can write your educational qualifications below. Next to it, you can add your work experience if you have any. If you are a fresher, then you can you can leave it as, because uh, probably you won't have any experience. You don't actually need to mention that you're a fresher, but when there is no column for ex experience or work experience, your employer will know that you're a fresher. Then you can add your technical and key skills. The key skills you mentioned must be related to the job you apply. Make sure of that. Traditional certifications or qualifications can also be added because they can show you as a hardworking person. It will portray you as an active person in front of the employer. So make sure to add, add some additional certifications in your resume. After all this, give your personal information like uh, date of birth, gender, address, and you can have address details as 
residential address or present address and permanent address you can uh, write it write down both the addresses in case you are somewhere else and you can add your passport number if you have a passport and last you can add your hobbies under the heading personal details mention your hobbies and make sure your hobbies are uh, not silly then there should be a declaration uh, at the bottom of your resume this is the conclusion of your resume so you you all know a how a declaration is should be it is i hereby declare that the above information are truly true to the knowledge of my to the best of my knowledge or you can write any of any other appropriate declaring words you know and then have a space for date at the, the left end and your signature at the right end as i have mentioned here you can you can leave it uh, blank you are you are going to fill it only when you are submitting your resume in the company so leave them blank and at the right side write yours truly and then leave the space below it and you have to put your signature there because uh, it it is your declaration right you are writing your declaration just about the date so you have to prove that it is a declaration and you should sign there so leave it leave your space there and when you submit your resume just sign it and give it to the employer now now you know the structure of your resume and keep that in mind now let's move on to the types of resume there are three types of resume chronological resume functional resume and combination resume first chronological resume is the most common format that you've been taught in your school days like in the name of biodata you write name father's name uh, gender date of birth address these things but you are not doing right you're not writing it anymore so now let's see what functional resume is functional resume as a function mm, the function here in this in a functional resume is uh, that you are applying for a change of career changing your career from one field or platform to another here you cannot write about your previous employment you are just applying for another job that is new to you so you you cannot mention your previous employments just mention the skills you possess to have that job you can only focus on the knowledge and skills you have on the field you are entering show them that you are able through the skills you mention and then last the combination resume this is what i have taught you in the previous slide it has both the personal information and uh, format of a functional resume so that is how you are going to prepare your resume so combination resume is the combination of both chronological and functional resumes okay now let's move to the next slide and now that you know the structure and types of resumes let us know the do's and don'ts in preparing a resume first of all do's what are the things you should do in your resume the very first thing is you should prepare a resume and then keep it with you and every time when you apply for a job or when you are in going for an interview you should customize your resume as per the sector you are sector you apply as per the job you apply for you have to customize your resume you cannot just have the same resume for all the jobs you are applying no what job you are applying what specification you are applying and customize your resume according to it and then your resume should be catchy catchy means it should be attractive to the employer so make it that way don't give colors to your resume but just keep it attractive with shades of light blue and or gray color shades the headings and subheadings that would be attractive and you should use bullets 
don't use tabular tabular columns in your resume these are all old fashioned so you should you must use bullets bullets will give you an attractive resume and as i told earlier you, you must be cautious about your hobbies your hobbies need not be silly and above all all the details you mention should be true you cannot uh, give false hope to your employer when you uh, for example if you mention in your resume that you have good skills in python language or a java language and in case your employer knows about those languages and he asks question and you don't know about them and that you're trapped so write only true skills you have and go with confidence now let's see the don'ts while preparing a resume the very first thing is you should not copy your objective from the internet like i mentioned earlier don't copy your objective write your own even though it is very simple or or very poor write down your own you practice further and then your resume should not exceed two pages it's not an essay or an exam paper it it must be less than two pages and for freshers your resume should only be in a single page and i told you to write your resume in bullets uh for example in educational qualification you will mention sslc plus 2 and uh, ugpg mention them in bullets the bullet should not exceed 2 to 5 numbers okay and then don't use acronyms and slang is um, acronyms or words like as ap as soon as possible lol lock out loud such words you should avoid those words and you should not attach your photo if you are not asked to attach so when you are a fresher kindly don't attach your photo in your resume there's no need for that you are a fresher everyone knows a fresher must be a youngster so don't attach your photo photos are attached only to look at the personality of the person on in case they are aged so you're young fresh students are very young intellectual so you don't need to attach a photo in your resume okay fine now you you may all have a doubt that if resume is uh, all the above we have discussed discussed so far what is curriculum vitae we heard cv or curriculum vitae whatever you heard so yes both are the same both resume and curriculum vitae are the same as we have learned in our schools resume is american english and curriculum vitae is british english so it's clear right clear right yet they have slight differences resume and curriculum vitae have slight differences let us know that either resume is one page detail of you there is cv is detailed summary of you here you can see the differences between resume and cv and a cv can be two pages long and more when you have very long term of experience your curriculum vitae is going to be very long that is more than two pages so in in that case your resume will be called as curriculum vitae in curriculum vitae you have enough space for mentioning all your achievements and details that you have whereas resume is of precise and short you can mention only your outstanding details in resume so you can say whatever you want resume or curriculum vitae but when you want to be so clear and look so tidy you can name it by the differences as we have mentioned above as resume when it is one page long and curriculum vitae when it is more than one page long curriculum vitae is short shortly told as cv cv is much easier 
and standardize I suppose okay now as we have learned about your resume the differences between resume and CV and the types of your resume the structure of your resume it's time to conclude the session with a quote the quote says with resumes it's not about including everything it's about including the right things so in your resume include the right things and look forward to your better future so we now learn the contents to be in a resume so clearly let us know that if you have any doubts let us know them in the comment session thank you all all the best for your career thank you i hope you have understood the concept if you have any doubt need clarification or want to learn this course don't hesitate to contact life changes academy please fill out the registration form to join the course get your certificate for this session by providing your details in the below form link the form link will be available only 72 hours learn new courses from basic to advanced level at an affordable price with the guidance of industry experts if you think this session is useful like it comment below and share it with your friends let them learn and earn certificate at low prices on their interested courses please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more learning updates thank you